latest on July 6th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical Storm Barbara is rapidly weakening today in the Eastern Pacific. Invest 95E is behind it and could become our next name storm later today. It's July 6, 31 storms have formed so far around the world this year, which is somewhere in between the last two years numbers by this point. Day 36 in the Atlantic, no systems are active at all at this time, as you can see on the graphic. Day 53 in the Eastern Pacific and another look at Barbara and 95E on the screen here. None of those are going to affect land, although Barbara could deliver some rainfall to Hawaii. Uh, no storms active in the Western Pacific now or in the North Indian Ocean. No invests either. The Southern Hemisphere also very quiet. It's like a library. Well, uh, our main feature is Tropical Storm Barbara, of course, 50 miles an hour, we're giving it now, and a pressure of 998 millibars, National Hurricane Center will probably do something similar at their next update. It is currently 1295 miles from Hilo, Hawaii, 18.6 north, 135.3 degrees west. Over the next five days, we expect to continue towards the west as we enter the weekend crossing into the central pacific and then probably degenerating into a remnant low so the winds won't be getting up but it could deliver significant amounts of rainfall to hawaii in particular the big island um, and that will probably occur on sunday monday maybe getting on into tuesday here's invest 95e which does have winds of 40 miles per hour right now but doesn't have a well-defined center of circulation and national hurricane center are backing away from Designating it just yet, it's 269 miles from Socorro Island, 15 north, 112.5 west. And this system is expected to move off towards the west-northwest at first, so then maybe more of a northwest element as it's likely to become a tropical storm over this weekend and into early next week. Most likely it will be a fairly short-lived system, weakening again by early next week. So look at the wind shear graphics right now uh, on top of the visible imagery. This is Barbara and you can see how uh, how poorly it's starting to look now. You can still see what's left of that very strong circulation but convection is really all gone and it is a uh, shadow. Wind shear is of course doing a number on the storm as well, 25 knots plus. And this is the wind shear graphic over Invest 95E and you can see here it is also very high actually, 25 to 30 knots over what would be the center of this system right now, although it is low down towards the southwest. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this, whether we might get a center relocation further towards the southwest and that would really put it in much better stead than it currently is. So this is what the North Atlantic wide view looks like right now. Not too much going on here. Um, an interesting looking tropical wave that's just emerging off the coast of Africa. They don't usually last very long, but just in case, we'll keep a little eye on it. Uh, the Saharan dust is still very prominent over there on the eastern side of the Atlantic. Will remain the case for some time yet. The Gulf of Mexico looking very quiet. Thunderstorms blowing up over Florida. Um, and that is all right now in the Atlantic. So the Eastern Pacific looks like this, you can see both of these systems now um, traversing across the basin. What's associated with 95E there is a very large amount of activity towards its southwest which might be um, you know, uh, inhibiting it a little bit as well. There's Barbara which is uh, clean away from anything else as you would expect. The Western Pacific looks like this, an interesting little low there in the central part of the ocean. Uh, which doesn't look like it will develop into anything, but an interesting little feature nonetheless. Uh, only because we've not really got anything else to talk about in the basin. Uh, more of the typical early season activity that we see, all of that frontal activity, what a mess, uh, moving through China and Japan. In the Australia and South Pacific region, this is the view right now. A little flare up there off the eastern part of uh, Vanuatu. And in the Indian Ocean, uh, more convection blowing up over the northern part of India, severe thunderstorms by the looks of things quite possible, and uh, a little monsoonal disturbance there off the coast near Kolkata. 
sea surface temperatures look like this, around 30 degrees plus along the coast of uh, Mexico on the Pacific side. On the Atlantic side, not quite as warm, but the Florida region there looking uh, like it's really warming up in those uh, latest, late, last few days, uh, really getting up above 30 degrees Celsius. Um, the rest of the Atlantic warming up slowly. The North Indian Ocean, warm enough, 28 degrees plus, pretty much across the board. In the South China Sea, still fairly warm, around 28 degrees, but the Philippine Sea is much warmer, 30 degrees plus, quite, um, quite a lot there, quite common in the Philippine Sea, waiting for that next storm. Here's some floater imagery of Invest 95E in the Eastern Pacific, another view of the system right now, and you can see why they haven't named the system yet, even though it is actually... Uh, got tropical storm force winds, but it doesn't have the other prerequisites, uh, namely that uh, circulation, which is really uh, struggling at the minute. And this is what's left of tropical storm Barbara, which is still holding on at the minute, but it has weakened massively since yesterday. Don't forget, at the same time yesterday when we were doing this tropical weather bulletin, it was a category three on our estimates just about to lose it as the eye collapsed a few hours later so the next name in the eastern pacific will be cosme uh, in the atlantic we're looking out for barry which could actually form in about uh, in a few days time uh, later on next week near florida we'll wait and see whether that happens in the central pacific the next name is akoni in the western pacific we're looking for danas and in the north indian ocean hika is next on the list you can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can also find our Facebook and Twitter pages too, search Force 13 all in text, and you're welcome to message us on any of those. That's it for now, we'll be back with another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.